Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be going over things that girls don't actually care about. So YouTube can be a very interesting, very dark place, and after some browsing around, I've noticed that I think guys think that women care about a lot of things that in reality, we really don't care about at all, especially if we genuinely like you. You guys know by now that my channel is not a hookup channel. It is not how to sleep with a ton of girls and get a ton of girls to go out with you. It's more about uh, feeling good about yourself, feeling happy, healthy, mature in your daily life and being in relationships that reflect all of those things as well. So I really try to give a healthy, mature approach, like I said, and ultimately, while things on the outside might be good for attracting someone in the beginning, they aren't gonna be things that are gonna keep a good girl around. And I think it's important to make the distinction between the two. So I reacted to um, a video that Alexander Grace made, and that was a perfect example of things that are good for initial attraction and then things that are good for keeping a good girl in your life. Um, so definitely watch that if you haven't seen it already. I'll link it down in the description down below. But basically, these are gonna be things that guys think girls care about that in reality, when we like you, we actually don't care about. And I would even argue before we like you, most girls don't even care about these things either unless they're like a gold digger or are going after a super rich guy with a ton of money. So I don't really know if you'd want that in your life anyway. Totally up to you and your preference. No judgment for me, but let's get started. Number one, we have your car. If you're successful and you wanna drive a nice car, that's great. That's totally up to you and your decision on how you wanna spend your money. But if you're buying a nice car just to show it off or flash it around when you don't actually have the money for it, I would argue that's actually a bigger turn off than you having the car would be a turn on. I know plenty of successful, absolutely amazing people that drive kind of crappy cars, including my boyfriend. When he rolled up to our first date in his 2007 Honda Accord, I did not even bat an eye. I didn't care at all because I cared about the person that was driving it, not about the car that he was driving. So just something to consider. I think really just the biggest turnoff is someone who is financially irresponsible. As a woman, I wanna be with someone who is good with their money, regardless of how much money you're making. I think it's important to be financially responsible with it. So if you went $40,000 in debt for a car that you couldn't afford, maybe not the best thing. Number two, a six pack. I would argue that the majority of girls don't care whether you have a six pack, a four pack, a two pack, a zero pack. Really, I think we just want you to be healthy. Um, if you're active, if you go to the gym, if you go for a run. So just take care of yourself, have good cardiovascular health, go to the gym, go for a run, whatever it is you do, but don't think you need to have a six pack to win a girl over because I promise we really don't care about that. You should really just be taking care of yourself and not even to attract someone else or to please someone else, you should be doing that for yourself because this is the only body you have. You better be taking care of it. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna look better, you're gonna be happier, it helps your mood and your brain and your mental health and really is just amazing for you. So if you aren't already someone that takes care of yourself, I would highly recommend starting, not to please anyone else, but really just for yourself because like I said, a six pack is not going to keep a good girl around. I have known plenty of people with a body like a Greek god and I would never date them in my entire life. So. Keep that in mind, it's not all about the way that you look. You gotta have something in here and here also. Number three is Mr. Tough Guy. So just like I mentioned in the beginning about all of this very toxic advice that I see on the internet, this is one that I see probably the most out of any of these, and it's that you can never be vulnerable. You can never show emotion. You have to be Mr. Tough Guy, has no emotion, solid as a rock 24 seven. That is one thing that I really just cannot get on board with because it really could not be farther from the truth. And I think it's actually the opposite. You should be able to show emotion with the person that you like or the person that you're with. I'm not saying that you should be crying all the time, all day, every day, throwing yourself a pity party, weeping on the floor. Like that's really not what I'm saying, guys. I think some of you listen to this advice and you take it from one extreme to the other. You should be able to show emotion, have feelings, and express those things to your partner. I'm not saying you guys should be crying or throwing yourself a pity party all day, every day, but sheesh, you gotta be able to show some emotion so that you can grow as a couple and evolve as a couple. I would argue that anytime my relationship has progressed to the next level, it's because we've had a deep, meaningful connection with each other. And sometimes that involves being vulnerable 
and you know, talking about past experiences, how you've grown, how you've learned things, and just how you can be a better person. So I think by sharing these things with your partner, you guys not only grow individually, but you also grow together. So when people say don't be vulnerable or don't show any emotion, I don't think that's good advice to follow at all. I don't know what it's like in the hookup world. I don't know what it's like if you're just trying to get a one night stand. If that's you, I would say maybe don't be vulnerable or don't show emotion because you're not looking for a meaningful relationship. But if you're someone who's looking for a healthy, mature, happy relationship, you're gonna wanna show emotion and ultimately it's gonna make a girl feel more connected to you because you're gonna be opening up, you're gonna be vulnerable and she's going to appreciate that. You aren't a robot, you're a human and I promise it's okay to act like it. Number four, we have a fancy job. What even is a fancy job? I really don't know at this point. There are so many ways to make money in the world. It really doesn't matter how you're making it as long as you're financially responsible and you're able to support yourself and your family if that's something that you want to do in your life. I would also say that what you do for your job matters a lot less in the grand scheme of things when compared to how happy you are doing it and how much you like your life. I've seen a ton of guys who choose very high stress careers or jobs and they live their whole lives miserable because it's not really what they want or or they did something because they thought it would please everyone else and they didn't actually go after what they wanted in life. So, you know, success looks different for everyone. What one person might think is a good income might be nothing to someone else and vice versa. So it really is about finding someone whose values and goals and aspirations line up with yours. I think there's definitely been an increase on social media and just life in general, showing the grind of working and the hustle it takes to get there and how you should be working 24 seven. And I think that that's really not realistic for a lot of people. I think some people would be content making $40,000 a year and that's totally fine as long as you're finding someone whose goals and aspirations and dreams in life line up with yours. So if you're a guy that doesn't want to be a millionaire, if you just want to make $50,000 and be content and have the weekends off to spend with your family and enjoy your life, that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it and I think there's this very unrealistic expectation that every guy needs to be a millionaire in order to be happy or in order to to get a girlfriend and that is so far from the truth it makes me sick and it makes me sad when guys think that the only way they can get a girlfriend or enjoy their life or be happy is to make more money so like i said the most important thing about this is finding someone whose goals aspirations values line up with yours and you're doing something that you love and something that makes you happy and something that you're not going to be miserable and stressed out doing every single day of your life number five we have sexual experience i know this is a little bit saucy i don't really talk about things like this on my channel because I like to keep it classy and there are some parts of my life that I like to keep a little bit private for good reason as you all can probably understand. However, I mentioned this briefly in the Alexander Grace reaction that I did and a lot of you guys commented on it like, oh, why didn't you talk about point number three? Um, so I just wanted to quickly address it here just so that you guys can understand because I think it's a really important point that not a lot of you guys realize. Just because you have a ton of experience with a ton of different girls does not mean that you are good in bed or sexually skilled, okay? Just because you have a ton of experience with a ton of different girls or people does not mean that you are going to be necessarily sexually compatible with everyone that you sleep with. And it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be considered good in bed because you've slept with 50 girls. Like I said in the beginning, this is not for the people that wanna hook up. This is not for the people that are just sleeping around, bouncing from person to person, who wanna live the bachelor life and never be in a serious relationship. It's, this is not for you. If you're a guy that wants a relationship, that wants a partner to spend your life with, that wants to find a good girl, I would argue that Girls would prefer if you've actually slept with less people. It's less about quantity and it's actually more about quality. So you become good in bed by being able to communicate with the person that you're with and expressing what you want and what you need from that person um, in that area of your life. So the more you sleep with someone, the more that you are intimate with someone, the better it's going to be for the both of you. So it's really not about how many girls you've slept with because everyone is different. What one girl might like, another girl might hate. And it's really more about that person individually so if you've never slept with someone or you haven't been with a ton of girls please do not lose sleep over this please do not feel like you're a loser if you're a virgin 
there's really nothing wrong with it. I know a ton of people who wait till marriage or who would prefer someone that has slept with less people. Because like I said, it really has nothing to do with quantity and it's more about quality. All right guys, that is all I have for things that women don't actually care about. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to enter my giveaway. The form is down in the description below as well. I just need your name, your Instagram handle, and the watch you would like to win from teddybaldasar.com. Again, it's up to $1,000, so be sure to enter the link and follow me on Instagram to be entered into the giveaway. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.